having two anime girls is nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna get another one and it'll be really embarrassing. How's it going guys? It is Plastic Disaster back with another 30 minute missions. Well, actually this is called 30 minute sisters. If I'm correct, this is the answer to Kotobukiya's Mecha Masune model kits, but it's far cheaper. And when I bought that Wonder Woman kit, I believe it's like what, around 80, maybe $90? But again, since this kit is cheaper, we'll see how it compares. Now, in case you don't know what 30 Minute Sisters are, it is part of the 30 Minute Missions line, but this one just focuses more on the anime girls. Taking a look at the box art, we see a nice line art of Richette. Looking at this side of the box, it just shows up it comes with three different printed faces. That's really nice, that way I don't have to use the water slide decals. Here it just shows up many different ways to connect into an action based stand, some nice standing pose, and just shows up the armor and weapons, and right here it just shows you how to customize it. Moving on to this side of the box, just shows that it is compatible with 30 minute missions kits. After cracking the open box, we got three bags of runners and a manual. Looking at the cover of the manual, we see a familiar box art, familiar poses, and it shows that you can customize your own sisters. And by the way, these hair parts are sold separately. Checking the parts list, and it looks like we're going to be using all of them. Okay, so this is interesting. This page just tells you how to make your build more smoothly. Basically tells you to snap some part of the runners so you can organize it to make like a certain body part. Moving to the back of the manual, it just shows like the customization between 30 minute missions and 30 minute sisters like we saw and other 30 minute sisters kits. Runner A is going to be a multicolored runner. We got some black, some yellow, some gray, and skin tone parts. Runner B almost looks like a kind of like a lighter black parts. Runner C is going to be more of those yellow parts. Runner D, we got more black parts. Runner HP A1, and I'm going to assume runner HP means hair parts, is going to be the silver hair parts. Finally, we have FPA and FPA4 is going to be, of course, face parts. That's going to be it for the unboxing. And knowing this is a 30 minute missions kit, uh, there's not a lot of runners and it should go together quickly. So I'm going to put it together right now. And I'll see you guys right after. Here is Brishad all put together, and yeah, I agree, the build went together all smoothly, and after the build, the color separation on this kit is really great! And as you can see, we're gonna start this off with just a normal mode, I'm gonna put the uh, armor on later in the review. So moving on to seamless, you don't get a lot, but uh, a lot of them are very well hidden. The ones you're gonna have to worry about be the two of them, right up here, down here, there's one on the torso going up and down, and there's one on the thighs. As for the stickers, luckily, you don't get any. Sadly, it should have came with those uh, marking stickers, how the Alto and the Portanova did. That's about it for the normal mode. Now, let's switch to the armed mode. Here she is with all the armor, and I really like how 
this looks. All this equipment tells me that she's more of a hit and run kind of girl. And you also have these three millimeter holes, which you can add on more weapons to it or more armor. If you look at the arms right here and here, something tells me that you're gonna clip on something and sadly I don't have anything that you can clip onto, but it is really nice to have that feature. So basically, like the box says, you can customize it however you want. You also get some articulation on the armor. So let's play a little drinking game. Every time I say rotation, you take a shot. The rotations right here can move side to side. It can rotate on the shoulder armor. And there is like a rotation on the wrist, but if you like move it too far, it just pops off like the little like yellow piece. And there's also a rotation right here. On the thigh, you do get a bit of a rotation right here, rotation right here, and finally moving on the tail, you have a rotation. So, how'd you guys do? Moving on with accessories, starting off with hand options, and as you can see what's already on the kit, you have two closed fists. You also get two weapon holding hands, and the pay can move side to side. Face options, what's already on the kit is a regular smiling face. You get another smiling face with closed eyes, and you get an angry face looking to the side. And to change the face, you're going to pop off this part of the hair, and try not to lose the bow tie on top. Pull the face out. Just an example, but here she is with an angry face looking to the side. Finally, you got two more of these adapter pieces. This one just plugs into the back and you can use it for like two ways. The first way, you can plug into an action based stand. And the second one would be that you can plug any 30 minute missions backpack on her to her. Just like that. Speaking of 30 minute missions, let's bring this one back and we're gonna use this adapter piece. First, you're gonna pop up the head. And I think you guys know where this is going. You're gonna plug in this adapter piece in. And finally, you can plug the head back in. And, uh... <laughs> okay, I think this is a little curse. Damn, it is stuck in there. Okay, let me just take it off off camera. That is gonna be the first and last thing for the head swap. All right, so let me just take off the armor and we can move on to the articulation. Articulation, starting off with the head, you you get a double ball joint, and what you just saw after I accidentally pop it off, that allows the head to move side to side. For shoulder, it is on a ball joint. It can move up this far up, but if you put the armor on, it does hinder that movement. The bend at the elbow, more than 90 degrees, bicep swivel, and you do get a special uh, wrist articulation for this one, because this peg right here, allows it to rotate and you can also move side to side but you can also rotate the wrist this way and you can have it swing this way instead for the torso you do get two ball joints for arcing back and forward but don't push it too far because it will show an ugly gap also get a bit of side to side movement and sadly the waist swivel is limited the leg can move up this Far, move back this far the thigh can shift up and down and as for the splits eh, you almost get a full splits you don't get a thigh rotation but you do have a rotation right down here and bend at the knee more than 90 degrees and as for the foot it can go up this far I don't know why my copy's a little tight it can move back that far which is really good it can move side to side for the pivot which is no, not too bad, and you also get rotation on the foot. Well, the articulation on this kit is actually quite good. It is what I expect for a modern day cheap Bandai kit. Moving on to size comparisons, here it is right next to the standard size Walmart 44 scale Gundam and the Alto. And as you can see, she is taller than both of them. Next up, here it is right next to the Mecha Masume Wonder Woman, and uh, Wonder Woman just towers over her. Some of you may ask, which one do I prefer? Well, the thing is, both of them are good in their own ways, and they both have their own pros and cons. I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to say. We'll just toss this one up. And finally, here she is right next to Prime, Godzilla, and Lego Batman. So that's gonna be it for the size comparisons. Let's move on to my final thoughts. Moving on to my final thoughts. Overall, it's a really good kit. If you want an anime girl that doesn't hurt your wallet, this is perfect for you. It's a pretty quick build if you don't have much time. And the out of box presentations, you can just snap build it and just put it on your shelf and that's it. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up the review right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, wanna see more content like this, 
be sure to subscribe. Any questions or concerns, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. For this fun little bonus segment, this little adapter right here, it doesn't have to be for the 30 minute missions kit. It could also be for Gunpla 2. So let's bring in a volunteer. We'll just plug in the backpack and this is how it looks. And be aware it's back heavy. Oh, <laughs>